Hello, welcome to the Embedded Systems Cellular Firmware Development course. This course teaches you how to develop drivers and libraries for adding cellular functionality to your embedded device. This course uses the STM32 microcontroller and the A6 GSM GPRS chip. The A6 is a low-cost quad-band GSM GPRS chip equipped with 850, 900, 1800 and 1900 MHz worldwide communication band. If you do not understand what a band means, do not worry. By the end of this course, you would understand this and much more. The drivers developed in this course will work on almost all cellular chips out there. This is because most of them use the UART for communication. The course can be divided into three parts. The first part is theoretical. In this part, we shall learn about cellular technology, fundamental concept and concept with regards to the GSM architecture. In the next part, we shall develop bare metal drivers for interfacing the A6 to the STM32 microcontroller. After developing our drivers for connecting the A6 chip to the STM32 microcontroller, we shall then go ahead to develop efficient data structures for managing communication data between the A6 chip and the STM32 microcontroller. In the final part, we shall combine the drivers and the data structures developed in previous part to develop a library for connecting our STM32 device to the cellular network. We shall then go ahead to develop some real-world applications. Here are some highlights. If you want to understand the concept of a SIM card, see section 2. If you want to know the difference between 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G, see section 2. If you want to know the difference between GSM, LTE, WCDMA, see section 2. If you want to control hardware modules by SMS, see section 10. If you want to control hardware modules by phone call, see section 10. If you want to automatically send SMS or make phone call, by hardware trigger. See section 10 again. If you want to develop a bare metal real time clock driver, then see section 9. If you want to send sensor data by SMS triggered by an RTC alarm, see section 10. If you want to send sensor data as SMS periodically, let's say you want to send the sensor data every month, every day, once a year, once an hour. C section 10. There is so much more you could learn from this course and also it comes with a full money back guarantee for 30 days so you've got nothing to worry about at all. So give it a try and see if you like it you can always request a refund.